Hello everyone and I have one another very nice a very beautiful chess game by Bobby Fischer and in this chess game Bobby Fischer has the white pieces and his opponent is Rose Carbonell. And this chess game is also from a chess simul from the United States in Houston, Texas in 1964 so let's see what happened. Bobby Fischer has the white pieces and Bobby Fischer starts the game with pushing the e-pawn e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to c6 and only for the records this was a 57 board chess simul, a huge chess simul. Bishop to c4, bishop to c5 and then b4 by Bobby Fischer and this is the Evans Gambit. Very exciting. Bobby Fischer played in the romantic style of chess many times in friendly games and in exhibition chess games in simuls. So e takes on d4 and Bobby Fischer castled, developing the knights. And then d5, closing. So Bobby Fischer was attacking on f7, e takes, and then knight to e5, bishop goes back, and black castled. Knight takes on h7 by Bobby Fischer. King takes on h7, why did Fischer sacrifice his knight? Because of checking the king and getting back the material. D takes on c3, knight takes, bishop takes, queen takes on c3, and then knight takes on d5. And black is a pawn up. But white has attacking opportunities, queen to g3, and then bishop to b2, Bobby Fischer is threatening checkmate, queen takes on g7. So knight goes back, knight to f6, defending with the knight, closing the diagonal. Bishop to c2 by Bobby Fischer, and in this position maybe white is threatening to play queen to h4, and then capturing the knight, and after queen takes knight, queen to h7, checkmate. So how to defend? Knight to h5, defending like this, queen to f3, and then queen to d5, Naturally, black wants to exchange the queens because Bobby Fischer is a pawn down, bishop to e4, and after defending the queen, Bobby Fischer is getting back the material. Rook from a to b8, and then rook from a to e1. Of course, if moving the bishop, then capturing the bishop on b2, queen to g4, and then bishop to e5. So in this position, black is threatening to capture the queen, and if bishop takes back, rook takes on b2 is the idea. So bishop to e5, knight to f6. Why did black play knight to f6? Can you see the idea? Well, Bobby Fischer was playing against 57 opponents simultaneously, and Bobby Fischer made a mistake. Believe it or not, bishop takes on c7 by Bobby Fischer. And can you see why this move was actually not a mistake, it was basically a blunder. Can you see the best move for black? What would you do in this position? Well, Ross Carbonell captured on b7, Rook takes on b7. And Bobby Fischer captured the rook, queen takes on b7, black played the move, and white resigned. Bobby Fischer resigned, you heard me right. And this is actually a chess game that might make you feel better about yourself, because even Bobby Fischer can make blunders. Well, black played bishop to d5, and Bobby Fischer resigned. Because of this continuation, defending the queen, check, mate. Unbelievable. There is double threat after bishop to d5. Maybe queen takes on d5 is playable, but this position is unplayable, as you can see. Because black has the queen against the rook, and this is losing for white. So this is why in this position, this was one of the trickiest moves ever possible. Knight to f6. This was a tricky move. And Bobby Fischer played bishop takes on c7. This is basically supporting the bishop with the knight. After rook takes on b7, queen takes on b7, knight is supporting the bishop on d5. So tricky, so crafty by black. Bishop takes on c7, this is why, was a blunder. Rook takes, queen takes 
on B7 and then bank. Bishop to D5 and Bobby Fischer resigned. For some, the greatest chess player of all times. If not the greatest, one of the greatest of all times, but he made a blunder. So again, this chess game will make you feel better. <laughs> Even Bobby Fischer can make blunders. Okay, so in this position, actually the better move was, instead of bishop takes on c7, it was rook to c1. And actually white is better. As you can see, black has lots of weaknesses. And white is better actually. But Fischer played tempting move. And this is losing on the spot. Bobby Fischer resigned. And before signing out, I have a very nice picture to show you. So this is Bobby Fischer in a chess simul, a very high quality, beautiful picture from 1960s. So you can see Bobby Fischer in this picture in very good quality, a colored, beautiful picture, as you can see, a rare stuff. So I hope you also enjoyed this picture and also the chess game as well. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time with more instructive and beautiful chess games. Uh, okay, so take care and bye bye.